Well, uh, coffee was introduced into Europe uh, during the Renaissance. Uh, it was actually one of the sparks that pushed forward that movement. Uh, from there, it really took off, especially in Italy, where we now think of espresso, the espresso machine. Uh, and eventually, that's somehow kind of transplanted into Western culture. Four of hearts, a long yeah, yeah. Uh, Melbourne's coffee scene uh, on a world scale is very unique. Uh, you think of places like the US, in which it's kind of starting to catch on right now, but really they were first introduced to the espresso bean uh, through places like uh, Starbucks, which of course we know, you know, one on every corner they say in New York and places like that. Two lattes with one for the five of diamonds. I read an article recently that actually said that Starbucks tried to take off here in Melbourne, but it couldn't compete with other independent coffee scene. Here we've got say, a big emphasis on quality of the coffee, on the blends, on the aromas, the flavours, uh, the style it's made in. We have a lot of different styles here, which a lot of foreigners struggle to keep up with. You know, we've got the flat white, the cafe latte, cappuccino, three-quarter, mocha, etc. All these kind of variations, which some people think kind of bastardised coffee, but I like to see it as a bit of a show of love and affection. You know, it's a very unique, stylized and individual beverage. So I think right now, it's kind of like the peak of the coffee culture here in Melbourne. It started off as a bit of a subculture, you know, the indie crowd, but now that's slowly become the majority, more or less. And we have cafes popping up, like new ones every day. I think uh, more than expanding itself here, it's kind of taken off, like we've heard about in New York, they're developing, apart from Starbucks, their own independent coffee culture. They even open up streets like Little Burke Street and things like that, and uh, the Grave Street. They're calling these streets after the places here in Melbourne to try and... Um, transplant what we have here over in another culture, another country, because it's something to envy.